watching WCMH4 Columbus. This is News 4 at Noon from the News Channel in Central Ohio. Good afternoon. What a way to wake up for a Northwest Columbus couple. The Cochrans were asleep upstairs in their Sherlington Drive apartments this morning when they had a surprise visitor. A car came crashing through the front door and came to a stop in the center of their living room. That car driven by 73-year-old Sang Shu Chow, who had lost control of his car on a curve. No one was hurt, but the Cochrans will have to do a lot of redecorating. Also in Northwest Columbus today, an interesting sight along the interstate. Light poles are being installed along I-270 with the help of a helicopter. Our Rob Case is in Chopper 4 now, and Rob is keeping an eye on things. But what are they doing, Rob? Well, Allison, they're, uh, they're picking these 4,000-pound uh, light poles up and placing them all along the freeway along I-270 up near Dublin. That's where we are right now. We'll show you what they uh, just shut down for just a minute. Uh, well, actually, for about 30 minutes for lunch, the pilot told me. But what, what, they're actually, what they're actually doing, as you can see, is they're lifting the poles off the ground. They're flying them over to a mounting post on, on the ground. And then at that time, what they'll do is they have guys on the ground with, with uh, big wrenches. They lower the pole down onto these four anchor bolts. You can see them lowering a the pole down right there. We hope to show you this live, but they, like I said, they were taking a break. So they lower the pole down, weighs about 4,000 pounds. When they get it to the ground, they have guys with big wrenches and, and nuts. It's a nuts and bolts operation. As you can see, the guys grab it, center it right onto the air. You're looking at just a few, within inches. I mean, this pilot has to do a really good job with this thing to get it down there. They lower it down. The guys quickly tighten it down real quick with ratchets, and then uh, they break away from there and go on to the next one. Now, Allison, they tell me, what they tell me, Allison, and, and you can see the helicopter down there refueling it now. What they tell me, Allison, is that if it takes them longer than three to four minutes, they're not making any money. So three to four minutes per pole, 127 poles today. So what they're actually looking at now is, is doing a job that would normally take seven days with a crane and a, and a ground crew, only will take them actually about seven hours. And uh, we were talking to the pilot, like I said, just a few minutes ago, and uh, he told me they think it's probably going to take a little less time than that because uh, they're moving very quickly along the freeway. And right now they're taking a break out here at Route 33 near Dublin, and uh, they'll be back in the air in about 10 minutes. And we are working uh, actually at uh, Sawmill in 270. So it won't take long, and uh, we should have this all the way down to Roberts Road probably around 5.30 or so this afternoon. Rob, do they have to stop traffic at all when they put each one of those in? Yeah, we'll show you what that looks like here. Let me just pan over here to the left for just a minute. I'll have Buzz uh, show you what, what they got a whole ground crew down here along the ground. If you can show them on the ground. There you go. You can see them all the way down with the orange barrels and the ground crew. They have to actually block it off as they go. So that's, uh, that's what it looks like. It won't be out here for the rest of the afternoon. Okay, so just a few minor traffic holdups then. Right. All right. Thank you, Rob. It's official now. The Capitol Music Center has been silenced. After two years of summertime performances at the Beulah Racetrack in Grove City, Capitol is calling it quits. That word came late yesterday when the Nederlander Company learned that Jimmy Buffett and John Cougar Mellencamp were turning down Capitol, even though they'll be playing in other Ohio cities. Buffett is the only performer who's been able to sell out at Capitol. The Nederlander Company says that small crowds have meant small profits, and that's why they're pulling out of their three-year contract with Beulah Park. The head of the Columbus Urban League says racial discrimination is getting worse. Sam Gresham says race relations aren't as bad as they were in the 40s and 50s, but they are worse than in the 60s and early 70s. But why? African America and third world America has been frustrated, has been angry, and is growing angrier each day. White America has been more frustrated and resentful of what is perceived as the guilt trips that third world America was sending white America through. Gresham blames Presidents Reagan and Bush for looking away from racial problems and for making affirmative action a negative term. In Newport News, Virginia, at least one person has been killed and dozens are injured after an Amtrak train collided with a dump truck. That collision caused the train to derail, sending passengers and debris flying everywhere. Most of the wounded were able to walk away from the wreckage, though. The train was traveling from Newport News to New York City. Military divers in North Carolina today are trying to fish bodies out of the Petey River after the crash last night of a military cargo plane. 
all nine people on board the plane were killed when the plane rolled over and crashed sideways into the water. The C-130 was from Pope Air Force Base, which is about 40 miles east of the crash site. Japan's National Space Development Agency has introduced its first full-fledged astronaut. 28-year-old Kiyochi Wakata starts his training with NASA in August. Right now, he's an aircraft engineer for Japan Airlines. Wakata's first flight won't be until 1997, but until then, he'll be actively involved in developing a space station. Wakata says he looks forward to working with astronauts from other nations, including the United States. When we come back, the weatherman gives us another reprieve. But in Texas, a spring storm has been creating all kinds of problems. I'd like to talk to you about an invisible problem, the invisible bacteria that cause denture odor. Fortunately, antibacterial epident kills those odor-causing bacteria for clean, fresh dentures. Antibacterial epident. People who use plain calamine lotion to relieve itches or poison ivy are easy to spot. But Caladryl Clear not only works better to stop the itch, it dries this clear. So nobody will ever spot you. Try Caladryl Clear. Now, just in time for summer, you can buy casual furniture, spas, above-ground pools, and more during Scioto Valley's one-half-off grand opening sale. That's right, Scioto Valley now with two locations. Scioto Valley will compete for your business at any price. All above-ground pools up to one-half-off, plus free installation up to one-half-off on casual furniture. Save up to 50% off on leisure-based spas, plus pool tables and pool accessories. Scioto Valley, I-270 in Hilliard, or our new store at Cleveland Avenue at 161. If you're injured by a careless driver, it affects more than just you. Honey, I got my overtime in my check today. Let's go. It affects your lifestyle, your family, oh, honey, it's beautiful. your dreams, Everybody's mom. her future. If you've been hurt, hold on to your dreams. Plymouth Associates help people who've been injured in an accident. Call 221-1166. Want to see the area's best selection of used cars? Watch or set your VCR for Auto Showcase Television Classifieds. Saturdays at noon. Tornadoes ripped through northern Texas early today, destroying a mobile home park and pummeling the area with softball-sized hail. Winds gusting up to 60 miles per hour downed power lines and trees and damaged roofs in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. There were a number of injuries reported, but fortunately, no one was killed. This is wow. the uh, peak severe weather season for the southern portion of the country because eventually they get so warm that you don't have the big temperature contrast, whereas our peak tornado season, uh, we're starting that period, but we continue through the month of June. Mm -hmm. We've been pretty quiet, though. The cool weather mm -hmm. has essentially put the lid on strong storms because you do need the heat and humidity. And we haven't had that, just a couple of warm days here and there. So the cool weather does have a few side benefits. I could do with a little bit of the heat, maybe not the humidity. Maybe right, the, about right now. the heat without the humidity actually will just warm things up to seasonable levels now over the next week or so. Uh, although we'll probably turn chilly again Sunday, but at least we'll get several milder days in. There's always a hitch, isn't there? Yeah, there's always a hitch in weather, especially <laughs> if it involves the weekend. But uh, still no sign of the 80 degree weather we'd all like to see. That may be a couple of weeks in coming. Right now it's 58 degrees. Uh, that's about where we were for a high temperature the past couple of days. So we're making some strides, though not a whole lot of ground. Uh, humidity, 45 percent. The air is dry. And that will slow the progress of showers to our west, which will literally dry out as they try to move into central Ohio. Uh, southwest wind today it is bringing in milder air, but it was cold enough this morning for frost, a little frost on the windshield if you were up real early. But temperatures came up quickly. We did get down to 34 degrees. Now, brisk southerly winds and cloud cover over western Ohio made the western counties a little bit warmer, kind of the opposite of what we had uh, yesterday. Temperatures as warm as 41 at Toledo for morning low compared to 29 at Youngstown. It was at or below freezing even along the Ohio River in southeast Ohio. Here's satellite. We're getting the sunshine, but we're starting to pick up the high clouds. The forerunner of a weak cold front that's back through the Midwest. And you can see the buildup of clouds, some spotty showers in northwest Ohio, stronger showers and storms back through western Indiana and Illinois that we'll get here later on this evening. These are the big storms we just showed you a video of in northeastern Texas, moving uh, through and weakening over Louisiana and Arkansas, although more action will develop during the warm part of the afternoon. 
and this is where the real humidity is. That's why we're getting the stronger storms. For us, you see the activity well ahead of the cold front, but it's a weak front. The real cold front's up here in Canada. That has the cold air behind it. This will simply shift our winds. It may be a little bit cooler tomorrow than today, but essentially the same temperature, kind of 60-ish during the afternoon hours. We're getting a better day today because the cool Arctic air that had been over us for several days shifting farther east. Winds are coming in around the backside of high pressure out of the south, and that normally warms us up. There goes a storm system that brought nine inches of snow to the mountains of northeastern Tennessee. Here's a wet weather system that will affect us over the weekend, mainly on Saturday. Showers and storms with the cold front in the Midwest and the stronger storms kind of diving southeast uh, through Texas and Louisiana with the heavy rain, hail, and strong winds, including the Dallas-Fort Worth metro metroplex early on today. There are the showers in Washington and Oregon. That system several days away, but again, the timing not great. That would bring it in along about late Saturday. We're seeing a retreat of the really cold air now, but uh, still 50s across the north and over the Appalachians. We get into the 60s, but we can't quite bring in the 80s. Phoenix yesterday, a record high of 104. Today, there'll be 105. Heaviest rains will be in the lower Mississippi Valley with those showers and heavy storms. But we'll get maybe a quarter inch or a little bit more overnight. Here's the forecast then as we go through the afternoon hours. Pretty decent day, but we're starting to get, as we said this morning, a heavier cloud cover in the afternoon. Now, the eastern counties will still get sunshine, but uh, we'll be getting more of a dim sun, if you could call it that, 65 degrees, and it will be getting a little breezier this afternoon. Showers and storms will venture into our area this evening and then be with us off and on a good part of the night, but not a great deal of rain. The air isn't that moist, a low 49. Tomorrow, a cloudy, cooler day but we could get some sun in the afternoon. If the sun does break out by noontime tomorrow, then we will get into the low 60s. That's questionable, but it will warm up on Friday. That's a certainty. Saturday will go into the 70s with late day uh, showers and storms, but it will start to turn breezy and cooler again, but not real cold later in the weekend. So what happens is we keep kind of dancing towards 70 degrees and then slipping back. It is almost May, so you know our average high is about 70. It has yeah. to get warm sometime. 70 sounds so warm until you start talking about 105 yeah, can in Arizona. You believe it already, and it's only you know the end of April, and today will be 105, probably tomorrow about Jeez. 100. So it's uh, sizzling out west. The warm weather goes almost up to Canada, but we can't seem to bring it all the way east. Okay. Thanks, Ben. In sports news, the Columbus Clippers lost to Toledo last night 7-2. The Indians were on a downer, too, losing to the A's at Richfield 3-1. The teams will play again tonight at 7.30 in Cleveland. And the Reds will have another chance at the Pirates tonight. Jimmy Crum has last night's action from the Ball Diamond. Let's go to the Meadowlands. Coach Lenny Wilkins watched Chris Morris turn in a career night. Morris gets the feed from Mookie Blaylock for the slam. He hit his first 10 shots. Morris, 12 of 14, 28 points, including three three-pointers, nets by five. The Cavs rally behind Larry Nance. He'll get the rebound and score. Nance led Cleveland with 28. Now look who's leading the Cavs break. Brad Doherty, big Brad dishing to Hot Rod Williams. His toss from the hip finds the hoop. Cavs by 10 in the fourth. New Jersey charged back. Former Cav Chris Dudley throws in the tap. Nets lead by one. Then with about a minute to play, Grayson Petrovich working off the screen cans the tray. That gets Petro all pumped up. New Jersey wins 109-104, the Nets' first playoff win in eight years. Game four Thursday in New Jersey. Let's go to Riverfront Stadium, the Reds hosting Pittsburgh. Cincinnati pitcher Tom Browning got tossed out in the sixth inning, arguing with the home plate umpire. Tom was miffed, to say the least, as he tossed equipment out of the dugout after he got tossed. Sixth inning, game tied at two. Joe Oliver singles to left center. Bill Doran scores. The Reds win it three to two. The America's Cup Defender Series began as a best of 13 event, and for a while it looked as though America Cubed would run away and hide. But Dennis Connors' stars and stripes won again yesterday. The margin of victory, one minute, 47 seconds. That evens the series at four, and it now becomes a best of five set to see who'll defend the America's Cup against the winner of the Challenger Series between New Zealand and Italy. That series is also deadlocked at three and three. Jimmy Crum, News 4 Sports. When we come back, stress can cause you more than just a headache. Stress and your cholesterol levels, right after this.
it's time to change your oil and you need it done now, come to us for professional service. It takes as little as 10 minutes and we use quality Penn's oil. You don't need an appointment to receive our prompt and courteous service. Come to us for a change. We're fast, we're thorough, and we give you the world-class protection of quality Penn's oil, America's number one motor oil. Is it time to change your oil? Visit the convenient Bath Loop Center near you. Folks, Monsanto wear dated carpet with locked in stain resistance is only $7.99 a square yard at Buddy's Carpet. And get this the new Monsanto traffic control, the carpet that is specifically designed to fight matting, is so low they have threatened me. I'm not allowed to tell you, but I promise you, you'll love it. And there's no interest or payments till next winter, November, and then it's same as cash. But I'm telling you now, so you don't get left out, I can't do it forever. Get the Buddy's Carpet now. Let's talk about great pairs, Fred and Ginger. Zigging and zagging, washing and drying. Well, a washer without a dryer is just wet clothes. And who wants some soggy old ring it out, hanging on the line, signal every bird in the neighborhood kind of stuff? Well, you don't have to. Not with the pick a pair sale that's going on at your Get It Today store, RTO, rent to own. RTO's got a full-size washer paired up with a dryer for only $18.99 a week. Free delivery today, $18.99. Look us up in the white pages under RTO. Hurry to Value City Furniture Wednesday and Thursday and save, save, save during midweek Markdown Madness. Save over 70% off on this three-piece dinette, at $49. Save over one half off on three-piece table sets, $98. Incredible savings on your choice of four-piece bedrooms, $398. Save over one half off on every Englander mattress and box spring. And Wednesday and Thursday only get an instant $20 rebate towards any Englander sleep set. Free gifts, free refreshment shop Wednesday and Thursday till 10 p.m. The midweek Markdown Madness sale at Value City Furniture. Stress has become a fact of life for busy Americans, and it's affecting our health. The average American worker missed 16 days of work last year because of stress. And now there's word that stress can cause more than missed days. Dr. Nelson Krauss says it may be linked to high cholesterol. Stress. It's an unavoidable part of most of our lives, but does it really hurt us? Well, this month's Archives of Internal Medicine says stress makes our cholesterol levels rise significantly and that can mean trouble. In a person's daily life, uh, uh, being exposed to high levels of stress might be affecting cholesterol and thereby explain how stress might promote heart disease. Here's how the research was done. Chris Stewart just looks like he's watching TV, but he's really being tested to see how stress affects his blood cholesterol levels. Every second or so, a subtraction problem is flashed on the TV screen and he has to answer quickly before the next question confronts him. During this barrage of numbers, scientists are drawing his blood and measuring it for any changes in cholesterol. Surprisingly, within just 20 minutes, Chris's blood cholesterol level jumps significantly. These experiments also help clear up the mystery about why a person's cholesterol level fluctuates from day to day, even hour to hour. People uh, get their cholesterol measured and they're told the value and they uh, naturally hang on to that value as if that is their cholesterol measure, only to go in the next week or the next month and find that it's uh, 10, 20, 30 points different. And uh, that frustrates them, particularly if they've gone on a cholesterol-lowering diet, and it actually goes up. So the next time you get your cholesterol level checked, well, maybe you ought to make it a low-stress day and relax for about 30 minutes before your blood is drawn. For your health, I'm Dr. Nelson Krauss. When we come back, Jackie LaMuth has been cleaning out her cupboard.